So, following on from my last video, I'm going to give you my advice on how you can approach a cheap meal whilst limiting the damage. Okay, so before I start, I'm going to outline the four things that everyone should be doing regardless of whether you're having a cheap meal or not. So, number one would be plenty of micronutrients so eating whole foods fruit vegetables mainly vegetables um, and you're looking to get your five a day I'd say maybe two from fruit three from vegetables or whatever just plenty of vegetables so that's number one plenty of micronutrients number two plenty of fiber again from fruit and vegetables uh, also things like oats sweet potato plenty of fiber helps with digestion things like that we should be hitting that every day number three would be protein, so hitting our protein requirement. Again, regardless of cheat meal day or not, we need to be hitting our protein goal every single day. And finally, number four is getting some sort of essential fatty acid. So things like omega 3s, um, you can get from fish generally, and some oils as well. So, regardless, like I say, regardless of cheat day or not, or cheat meal, we need to be hitting those every day. So leading up to our cheat meal we need to make sure that we're doing all four of those so I would recommend two or three meals of lots of vegetables and some form of lean protein with an omega-3 supplement on the side so for example you could have half a plate of mixed vegetables some sort of lean meat uh, generally white meat so chicken turkey white fish things like that and then an omega-3 supplement on the side uh, not ideal because obviously we want to be in mainly whole foods and getting our sources from there but then again a cheat meal isn't ideal either but we're just trying to hit all bases before we get to our cheat meal because more than likely our cheat meal is going to be loaded with carbs and fats so we want to minimise those during the day and give ourselves almost like a buffer so give ourselves an allotment save it for the end of the day for the cheat meal. Um, I'd also recommend trying to fit in a session before or perhaps even after depending on when it is. Again, that's going to give you that calorie buffer so you might increase your calories for the day by three to four hundred or your calorie allowance for the day by three to four hundred by having that workout. So if you're eating lean say your um, your maintenance is two and a half thousand calories for example so average uh, average Joe, let's call him Average Joe. Um, let's say you're eating lean protein and vegetables up until the cheat meal. You're probably not going to be going much over a thousand calories, depending on what veg and what amounts. Um, so that gives you 1,500 calories for your cheat meal before you even get into a calorie surplus. So that's how I would plan a cheat meal, or how I plan leading up to a cheat meal to limit the damage. Um, so yeah, that's it from me. I uh, hope this advice has helped. Uh, make sure you click like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.